Welcome to Local Point, your life, your stories, with your host, David Gale. Hello, friends, and welcome to Local Point. I'm your host, David Gale. And on today's episode, we have Mindy Atwood and Marianne Davis in the VTV6 studio to discuss this year's Simplot Vernal Mine Showdown and Alive After Five. Welcome, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank Two you. big events coming up That's here right. in the Vernal area. Yep, we really do. And we're going to start with the 2017 Simplot Vernal Mine Showdown. Which that is great. I've memorized. <laughs> I think you I did said good. You did good. That yes, you is did. great. Well, first we want to we want to definitely thank our sponsors for helping us put this yes. show on. You know, the the Simplot Vernal Mine Showdown definitely could not go off without the Vernal Simplot Vernal Mine yes. and Freddy Steakburger. Rocky Mountain FR and you win a base in healthcare. So we want to definitely nice. thank them. Yes, thank you. Um, and this year's show will be July 5th, okay. right before the rodeo. So we're excited to kick off the rodeo nice. with um, the country, the 2017 Vernal Mine Showdown. Yes. There you go. And, um, <laughs> and it will be, there will be country with it okay. so um, and it's been the country showdown in the past okay so, so maybe maybe for somebody who's never been to this event before, never been maybe you could tell us a little about <laughs> what, what to expect okay it's a lot of fun there's okay. um, some great talent in the Unibasin we've got yes. people that uh, do it every year they just enjoy the the camaraderie with all of the other singers mm -hmm. that have just done it I've done it now for um, I've emceed now for long long time <laughs> long time yes. Longer than I can remember. Does it get obviously, better every so. year? It does. Of I think course. it does. The talent in this people just don't even realize what the talent okay. that we have in the yes. basin is. Great talent. So the this contestants okay. will sing two songs <coughs> each. Okay. The first mm -hmm. song will be a um, older Western, classical type Western. Okay. And and I'm sad to say that classical now is like 80s and 90s, <laughs> not, you know, Some Garth older. Brooks. Exactly. You know? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's now classical. <laughs> and then they will sing an up, you know, up to a modern, a modern, yeah, country song. Okay. And um, do they get and to pick the songs? Yes, they, they do. do. Okay. Yes. Yes. They just they just have to meet that criteria. Yes. yes. Okay. And the the showdown has three judges okay. that come from out of town, and they judge the talent. All right. So it is something that it is a lot of fun for um, the the contestants <laughs> because they get to see. You know what? I was good because of this. I was. I should work on this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And um, you know, Charlie Jenkins is one of the um, the judges. The judges. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Yeah. You have Charlie Jenkins judging. Yeah, then he knows what he's talking about. Exactly. And he is a winner of of the country showdown from, from the past. Yes, yes, he is. So now that's what to do. makes it exciting. <laughs> yes. Exactly. How, exactly. How many how many contestants do you usually have? Usually 10 to 12. Okay. Um, this year, I uh, last year we had 10, and this year we're going to have 10 just because it's it doesn't make the show so long. So there will be That's 10 true, contestants. You, so you, they, do they sing back to back? Do they sing both of their songs in a row? Great question. They do not. So the show opens up with a flag presentation. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to um, show our patriotism for That's the country right. that yes. we love so much. Then we have um, someone singing the national anthem. And then we will have last year's winner. Her name is Shelby Shelton. She will sing. She'll be our first performer. Then Miss Uinta County, Haley Solis, will do a dance number. Number. Um, after Haley, Rel Monson will sing. He'll perform. He's going to sing a Johnny Cash song. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. And then our contestants sing their first song. Okay. And then Marianne will introduce the um, judges. Uh, not judge. Yeah, she'll introduce the judges. Yes, I will. And she'll introduce <laughs> the clowns and the, the royalty and, for the rodeo. And, and the cowboys too, right? Oh, and the cowboys. And the cowboys. Uh -huh, That's uh -huh. my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> sure. yes. What happens there stays there. <laughs> Nobody needs to know. Right, right. Um, and, you know, we just have a great show we do. Um, a lot with of fun. the audience. Yeah. And I will just give you guys a hint. This year, Simplot Vernal Mine will be throwing out t-shirts oh, they will fun. be um, giving away prizes some swag. so exactly so if you want to get some fun um, swag uh -huh. as you say it and and listen to the <laughs> great talent in the Uinta Basin make it to you need the, to come the for sure 2017 Simplot Vernal Mine Showdown on July 5th at the Western Park 
Uh, is yeah. is there an entrance fee for it? There no. is not. You can just come and listen yep. to yes. the great yep. talent that we have here in the, in the, the valley. Yep. Exactly. It, and awesome. you can also come hungry and get food mm -hmm. um, because we have a food truck there that will yep. have hamburgers and hot dogs. Nice. Um, Pepsi is one of our sponsors, so they'll oh, we'll have Pepsi. have we'll have my favorite. Pepsi there, <laughs> and Frostbite will be there so that. You know, in the heat, you What's can get bite? your oh shaved ice. Amazing. You've never had it. Wait, is it the shaved ice place that's just on the, the main drag? Um, they're in Roosevelt, actually. Oh, in Roosevelt. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But they're oh, really frostbite. good. Frostbite. Really yes. Good. I'm super excited about frostbite. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. should okay. be. It's really yes. good. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is a lot of fun. So I, I've got some more questions for you, but okay. but we're out of time for our first segment. So when okay. we come back, we're going to talk more uh, to Mindy and Marianne uh, about not only the showdown that's happening, but also a live after five, Woo which I've been saying wrong this whole time. I've been calling it live after five, so I'm interested to know why it's called what it's called. So just stay with us. We're right back. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> we are the people behind the connection. You may never see us, but you are always on our minds because you are the reason we do what we do. Improving the way you connect is the reason we are always working. Why we are always building. Why we are always striving to give you the best. We are the people behind the connection, working together to connect your life. The Vernal Area Chamber wants to add your business in our network. Create change with various committees. Participate in community events and have a strong business resource behind your company's goals. Learn more at vernalchamber.org. All right, welcome back to Local Point. Uh, we were discussing this year's Simplot Vernal Mine Showdown that's coming up on July 5th, correct? The yes, day right. before. Yes. The rodeo starts. It's yes. a great way to kick off the rodeo because yes. you're going to be introducing the Cowboys, they're going to be there yes. already, right? Yes, we That's are. That's your favorite part. It is my favorite part. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. Okay, so July 5th, yes. uh, again, give me give me the times that it's happening. It's, it's free to the public. Yes, it is. Yes, it happening is. Happening at... Uh, the the pre-show starts at 6.30. Okay. And the show starts at 7, which means that the contestants will start singing their first number at 7. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Um, because you had all that stuff that happened beforehand, but the contestants exactly. start at 7. Exactly. Then in between their first and second song, you've got your little spiel and stuff going on. Yep, I And am. then they'll sing their second song, yes. and then there's a winner? Yes. yes, the winners will be announced okay. yep. the, the, that night. There will be even money involved. So yes. the, the first prize, the first runner-up grand prize winner is $500, mm -hmm. second is $300, and third is uh, $200. Nice. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. So they get cool. a win. Very nice. It'll be awesome. <laughs> okay, yep. so let's jump over to a live after five now. Okay. Why yes. was I calling it live after five? <laughs> I don't know. It's always been a live after five, Dave. Am I the only one who calls it live after five? I think so. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like when you get words to songs wrong. Exactly. Uh, somebody, That's what I call somebody, it. somebody got the words to a song wrong earlier. Yeah, we, we were just talking yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't Sacrilege. Know. <laughs> that would be her. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Um, it's so, my work. So tell me, tell me what uh, a live after five is. How it differs from country, sh not country. Uh, the yeah. Simplot Vernal Mind Showdown. There you go. And uh, when it happens. It starts on July 27th. It's okay. on every Thursday for four weeks. Okay. Thursday night. We it's, have a pre-show. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was, no, I was just saying, it's, it's a, a little bit of a longer engagement. It is, event. it is. It's yes. kind of like uh, uh, American Idol or something okay. like that. That's exactly. The local yeah. American yes. Idol. It is, yes. definitely that. And it just, yeah. again, showcases local talent. It's not necessarily country or rock or anything. We've had people who came in and sang show tunes okay. or rock and roll or just anything that their genre. Okay. So, and yes. a lot of times, uh, as, you go, as the weeks go on, we throw things at the contestants because yeah. it usually you vote off a couple each week. And towards the end, they say, okay, this next week, you guys have to sing an Elvis song. Oh, or I thought you, you have meant to literally sing. throw things at them. Well, I've done that, too. I've done it. You give yeah, them special fail. challenges for the upcoming week. We do. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. yes. Oh. We do. Right. And, and you also yes. whittle down the contestants. Yes, we do. Yes, Each week. and how we do that is the audience gets to vote on their favorite. That's right. That's right. So oh. the audience votes on their two favorites. Okay. And then, so the audience picks. Who gets to he go gets to on. Who they're keeping. So if you've got somebody you know who's going to be in it, in order for them to 
totally. continue on. You got to show up. And exactly. trust me, you call your friends and you say, hey, you got to be there this week. <laughs> yes. All right. How many yes. total contestants do we start with and what do we end up with on the last week? Um, we start with usually 12 mm -hmm. and then there's probably six at the end. At the yep. end. Yep. yep. And, and I'm imagining that these six, I'm sure that they all are, are very talented, but by the time you get yes. down to those last six, you've got some, you got quite the pool of talent. Yes, you do. Amazing, yeah, you do. Amazing you do. talent in the UNA you Basin. Do. We're very yes. fortunate. And, and Honestly, there has been talent come from Colorado. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've had some from Idaho. Oh, nice. Um, people that have come down. And I've got the, the cutest little 12-year-old. Um, well, I don't have her, but <laughs> like, she, I've spoken with her mother, okay. and she said that she's going to come down and do it. And like, nice. it's just so exciting because these guys, you know, probably sing in the mirror and then yes. get all excited and get to come and perform right. in front That's of right. a crowd. Well, where does so, that crowd gather? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the first year that we're going to be doing it at the park in front of the library in Vernal. Okay. Um, which I think is going to be good as far as yep. you have to bring your own chairs or blankets Blanket. or whatever or you're going to sit on. There. Yes. yes, a lot of open yeah. area. Exactly, though. but yes. it's going to be a lot cooler. I think um, we've normally done it at the Western Park, and it's just really hot. Yeah, got to be honest. Right. Yeah, really hot in the seats, and so this is going to be, I think, a, a better, a better place for everybody I to come and gather it. and and just enjoy yes. it. Are you are you yes. setting up some sort of like um, stage or something there? Yes, that, there is okay. a stage there. Uh huh. Yes, there is a stage. There's there. a stage, and they will be performing. And, and by stage, I mean there's like a cement platform, and yep. they'll be performing on that. Mm -hmm. And each week we have fun, different um, genres, yes. as we said. So, you know, the fourth week is always our patriotism um, mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. We thank the um, our, our men in blue, men and women in blue for... Yep. for of protecting us sure. and helping us and and then our our singers get to sing patriotic songs oh, that's yes. cool. and that's just one example of what we do yeah, yeah. and yeah, then local fun. talent um, throughout the basin we play have violas play and oh, fun. and yeah. so yeah. pianos so it's and there's a always a pre-show and then we usually have a halftime show of some sort mm -hmm. And then at the end, the last night, because we have to tally the votes to see who the winner and first and second runner-up is going to be. So at that point, we always have a post-show as well. So again, local talent that have been around for a long time. I'm one of them. <laughs> that uh, we perform and whatnot, and I've I've actually won this before. I, oh, I won nice. the live <laughs> I know. So um, anyway, so yeah, it's just fun. It's a lot of fun. Oh, and we even it have a family a that come every year from, from Las Vegas. Vegas. Yes, they come every year from Vegas. No way. They do to participate. The or just to no, just come to just watch, to man. Oh, they just nice. love it. Yeah, yeah. They're well. Marianne's fans. They're my fans. <laughs> they're the only fans I've got, but they're mine. So yeah, I'm excited. That's awesome. Okay, so we're out of time, but just to reiterate, we've got the showdown July yes. 5th. Mm -hmm. We've got a live after five starting on the 27th. That's right. Running for four weeks. Yes, correct. And right. anyone who would like to participate, go to mybasinradio.com, fill out the application, mm -hmm. send it in, and it, they'll exp it explains on the application what you need to do, and come and sing. It's okay. going to be great. Very nice. Have a great time. Thank you very much, Mindy and Marianne, for coming and joining us here today. And of course, thank, thank you. you as always for watching. That's yeah, all we've got time you. for. Stay tuned for this week's community <laughs> calendar. We are the people behind the connection. You may never see us, but you are always on our minds. Because you are the reason we do what we do. Improving the way you connect is the reason we are always working. Why we are always building. Why we are always striving to give you the best. We are the people behind the connection working together to connect your life. The Vernal Area Chamber wants to add your business in our network. Create change with various committees. Participate in community events and have a strong business resource behind your company's goals. Learn more at vernalchamber.org.
Hello, everybody out there in TV land and social media. Welcome to this week's community calendar. Sponsored, as always, by the Vernal Area Chamber of Commerce, who are building Commerce One member at a time. Good job. Keep it up. Hey, in news this week, the state of Utah, in conjunction with the state forester's office, they've issued a new fire restriction order. It went into effect on June 29th. So it means you cannot do any of the following on any state lands or unincorporated private land. What you can't do is you can't set, uh, set or build or maintain or attend fires outside of facilities designed for them, such as improved campground areas or at home sites where there's running water. There's no smoking outside of an enclosed vehicle near where dry vegetation is present. There's no discharging or launching any kind of live fireworks or tracer ammunition. There's no cutting, welding, or grinding metal in areas of dry vegetation. And there's no operating small engines like an ATV chainsaw. <laughs> an ATV chainsaw, that sounds like a really cool, like Mad Max type thing, right? An ATV or a chainsaw or a motorcycle without a spark arrester. So this order does not affect private lands within towns or city limits. Okay, now let's take a look at this weekend schedule, shall we? Hey, we don't want fires, right? No fires. Uh, starting with Friday, June 30th, we've got the 49th Annual Ute Pow Wow Celebration. This gathering runs until July 2nd. It's going to be happening at the Pow Wow Grounds in Fort Duchesne. You can enjoy food and handcrafted jewelry and the sights and sounds as dancers compete for prizes. It's, if you've never been to a Pow Wow, it's culturally, especially for white people like me. It's good to go. It's really cool. I love the drums and the music. It's great stuff. All right, also on Friday, it's rodeo season. Tabiono Rodeo is what we're talking about, uh, running on both Friday and Saturday, starting at 7 p.m. nightly. And then lastly on Friday, it's the final weekend to see Singing in the Rain from the Outlaw Trail Theater. If you haven't seen this yet, I told you that there was going to be actual rain. It's a lot more than I thought there was going to be. There's a lot of rain coming down. There's like puddles of rain. The guy playing, he's kicking the stuff all over. Anyway, it runs both Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday nights at 8 p.m. On to Saturday now, July 1st. Uh, we talked about the Powell. Well, the Powell also has a car show that's happening at the Ute Plaza parking lot in Fort Duchesne. That runs from 10 a.m. to uh, 8 p.m. Also on Saturday, uh, it's not up here, but there is a car show in Flaming Gorge at the Flaming Gorge Res Resort, and that starts at noon. Now on to next week, July 3rd through the 9th. Here it comes. Starting on Tuesday, hey, it's Independence Day, the 4th of July. Lots of stuff going on, an opportunity to just celebrate our freedom, independence. you got end events and celebrations happening all over the basin. Vernal, of course, is having their parade. Roosevelt is having their Red Mud Run, as well as other activities throughout the day. Duchesne is having a community breakfast starting at 7 a.m., then other celebrations throughout the day. And lastly, Neola is having their 4th of July celebration with a half marathon, a breakfast, and a parade, and a patriotic program. I will take the breakfast for that one, please. On to Wednesday, July 5th now. Uh, Country Showdown, Western Park Amphitheater. This is a pretty big deal, starting at 7 p.m. You can watch all the local talent as they perform on stage with a night filled with country music. <laughs> I love country music, couldn't you tell? Thursday, July 6th now. It's, uh, this is the biggest deal right here. In fact, it's like the biggest event all year long in the Uinta Basin. It is the Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo. What kind of picture do we have up here? Got a rodeo picture. I was hoping that the guy would be riding a dinosaur. Starting at 7.30 p.m. at the Outdoor Arena in Vernal's Western Park, come and see the live production on the huge VTV6 Jumbotron. Maybe you'll see your face up there. Also on Thursday, it's the Roosevelt Farmer's Market. It's going to be happening every Thursday through September, running from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Roosevelt City Park. Moving on to Saturday now, July 8th, we've got all the other things we've talked about, but it's also the 16th annual Dinoland Car Show at the Vernal City Park. We've got lots of car shows going on. I, I like this one particularly, maybe because it's the only one of the ones I've talked about that I've actually been to. It runs from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can come see everything from classics to newer vehicles and just have a great time. And there's lots of trees, some shade there for you walking along the path. Also on Saturday, it's the Ashley Valley Farmer's Market in Vernal. That has started back up again. Such a great time. It happens uh, in front of the library, the Library Plaza, every Saturday through September from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. They've always got something different there every week, right? Stuff comes into season, and then you got fresh food and breads and other stuff. All right, look looking on to uh, the weekend's weather now. You may have noticed that the temperatures have actually dropped down just a little bit. 83 degrees on Friday uh, is going to be kind of our low high <laughs> for the week, but don't you worry, things are going to start picking back up pretty much every day at some point in time during the day in June. We've been seeing clouds move in and wind at the nighttime, and then it calms back down, and in the morning you're fine again. And that's going to continue 
uh, for just a little bit longer. As we move into the next week, oh, by the way, the lows, mid-50s for the weekend. Into next week, those lows come up a little bit to the mid-60s, and the temperatures shoot back up again. You can see here on Thursday, high of 99 degrees. Whoo, that's going to be warm. But it's great this time of year. It's summertime. It makes the lake feel so much better, doesn't it? All right, uh, let's go ahead and look at some events you can get your family out to after this next week. The Uinta Basin Car Show, there's another car show, at Constitution Park in Roosevelt will be happening on July 14th and the 15th. And then uh, July 15th, there is a health fair at the park outside the Uinta County Library from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. From July 17th through the 22nd, Altamont Longhorn, Longhorn Days is happening. Uh, I've never been to the Altamont Longhorn Days, but they're going to have a parade and a rodeo and a lot more going on there. And then lastly, on August 3rd through the 4th at the Roosevelt Constitution Park, guess what it's time for? It's time for you and a Basin in celebration. That means it's not just Roosevelt. It's the whole basin. Come out and have a good time. We'll, of course, be telling you more about that next week. Those are the events we have for this week's community calendar. If you have an event coming up, as always, please let us know, 435-781-1902, or you can leave a comment below. Thank you for watching VCV6, like us on Facebook, and we will see you here next time.